Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the coefficient of determination. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So more often we're going to refer to it as r squared because that's its notation, which remember is the shorthand so we don't have to write out that whole coefficient of determination. Now r squared really does come from r, which if you remember was our correlation coefficient that we talked about a few videos ago. Now if you think about the definition of r squared, it's the proportion of variation in the response variable y which remember response variable is use, uses the y-axis, that is explained by the model. And in our class, we're going to be just dealing with that straight line model. Now, it really does come from the r correlation coefficient, and because we're squaring it, it has to be between zero and one. So remember that r had to be between negative one and one, r squared has to be between zero and one. Also, because we're squaring it, it can give us information on the strength of the relationship, but it can't give information on direction because when you square something, automatically it's going to be positive, right? And the other thing, the fact that we want to mention is that just like R was significantly impacted by outliers, R squared can be too. Also, when you interpret R squared, it tends to be reported as a percentage. So you'll notice when we start talking about how to interpret it, we're gonna be using its percent version in our interpretation. So let's practice interpreting. Now, I first am going to give you the generic interpretation for R squared, and then we're gonna practice using it. So generically, if we were to interpret an R squared value, we would say R squared, but as its percent, <clears throat> so R squared percent of the total variation in the Y variable or our response variable. Now you'll notice here I have in all caps total variation. That's because those words will always be used. So the R squared percent of the total variation in the Y variable is explained by the straight line model with, and again, this is in all caps, so that doesn't ever change with the x variable. So the things that are not in all caps will change. So r squared, the y variable, and the x variable will always be specific to the problem that you're dealing with. So let's move that over and now let's talk about age and distance straight to highway sign. So this is the example we've been looking at for a lot of the videos for two quantitative analysis. So when we had age, it was our x variable, distance three to highway sign was our y, and we know that that had a negative association, so we have an r of negative 0.8, but because r squared is squaring, r squared is gonna be 0.64. So we're gonna make that into a percentage, so we'll multiply it by 100, so we'll say 64%. And then again, all caps, so we always say this, 64% of the total variation in the y variable, which here our y variable again is distance to read a highway sign. So we'll say 64% of the total variation in distance to read a highway sign is explained by the straight line model with, again, all caps, those are always the words you use. We're just going to be changing our y variable, x variable, and what the r squared percent is. So then we'll end with h. So we'll say 64% of the total variation in distance to read a highway sign is explained by the straight line model with H. So hopefully that generic approach will help you. Remember that you don't change things that are underlined. See you in future videos.